Alright, hey guys, it's Marvel CCG back in the video. In this video, I'm going to be going over some new Zark support. So let's just get started here. So, this is a new Pendulum Monster, and this is called Supreme King uh, Gate Magician. So, you can see these monsters are just stacked with text. So, let's just get started here. So, you can only use the second effect, Pendulum Effect of this card's name once per turn. Supreme uh, King Zark you control cannot be banished by your opponent's card effect, so that's pretty good. It gives it extra protection. During your main phase, you can destroy this card, and if you do place one Supreme Gate, Pendulum Monster from your hand or deck in your Pendulum Zone, except uh, for this card. So, pretty good way of just popping it. Of course, you can being able to just add a, uh, a Supreme K King Gate Monster. I know there's like this one that a Supreme K Zero, I think it's called, used a lot, and I know it's a really strong card. So, being able to use that in order to search it out and put it onto the Pendulum Zone seems so pretty, uh, pretty powerful. And if you have a Supreme King Gate card other than uh, this card in your Pendulum Zone, you can send one Pendulum Dragon, XC Dragon, Synchro Dragon, or Fusion Dragon Monster from your hand or extra deck to the grave. And if you do a Special Summon this card from your hand. So a pretty easy way of getting this card out. If this card is Special Summon, you can add one card that mentions Supreme King Zark from your deck to your hand, except the Spellcaster Monster. So yeah, that, this is able to search things out. This card it seems like it's doing a lot, and you can see by this text, uh, at least that text is actually... Um, <laughs> you know, I'm doing something, so that's cool to see here. And here we have Supreme King Dragon Lightworm. So this is a dragon and this one's a gate, um, just to mention that. And this is an actual uh, tuner monster as well. So its name is uh, Supreme King Dragon Lightworm. And with pendulum effect here is uh, if a monster is special summoned and you control Supreme King's Ark and another pendulum monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Uh, you can special summon this card from the Pendulum Zone. Then you can choose one other Pendulum Monster you control, and the attribute and level of that monster or this card becomes the attribute and level of the other. So this can make it easier uh, to exceed or whatever you're trying to do here. And if this card is normal or special summon, you can add one face up Supreme King uh, Dragon or Supreme King Gate mon Pendulum Monster from your extra deck to your hand. Then immediately after this effect resolves, you can synchro or exceed summon one Supreme, uh, Supreme, King, uh, Supreme Dragon King here. So... That seems pretty easy way of just recycling cards and then being able to use that to go into a synchro or exceed um, seems pretty decent. Of course, you're being forced into it because of this, as this is a tuner monster. But um, yeah, it still seems like a decent card just for recycling cards and uh, letting you get out your supreme dragon king monsters. And if a face-up pendulum monster is destroyed by battle or card effect, while well, this card is face-up in your pen or extra deck, you can add this card to your hand. So again, an easy way of getting this card back pretty uh, quickly. And now here, it looks like this is going to be a rework for uh, Zark, uh, Supreme Celestial King Odd Eyes Arc Ray Dragon. Uh, so yeah, pretty long name there, but hopefully it has a really strong effect. Um, uh, let's see, you can use the pendulum effect of this card's name once per turn. So this is a fusion pendulum monster, of course, uh, with a scale of 13. If you have two cards in your pendulum zone, you can switch on this card, then you can shuffle one card from your pendulum zone into the deck. Then if it returns to your extra deck, you can switch summon it, ignoring its summoning conditions. So it makes it pretty easy to get this card out. I'm guessing if this card gets destroyed, you can also put it into the pendulum zone. That's how it's going to end up there. And in order to fusion summon it, it's going to require... Four dragon monsters, one fusion, one synchro, one exceed, and one pendulum monster. So same thing as Supreme King Zark, which you can see here it's always treated as. And um, this face down card in the extra deck must first be either fusion summon or special summon by attributing one level 12 dark Supreme King Zark. So it looks like it's going to be a way of just switching it out if you want to. And um, pretty interesting way of just replacing the old card. I think you're still going to have to use the other one just because the other one does have like a lot of protection here. But it's just giving you the option of going into this one. And if this card is special summoned from the extra deck, you can place one Pendulum Monster from your deck in the Pendulum Zone. So that could be pretty decent. And then if this card in the Monster Zone is destroyed, you can place it in your Pendulum Zone. So again, you can see here, it doesn't seem like it's crazy, like powerful eff uh, effects here. But um, yeah, I guess it's another option here if you're done using your Zark to go into this. As if it is special summoned, you are able to do like kind of an extension here. And here we have a new spell card which is a Pendulum Evolution, it's a continuous spell. You can shuffle one Pendulum Monster from your hand into the deck, add one Pendulum Monster with 2500 attack and a different name from your deck to your hand. So the target here, I'm guessing it's Odd Eyes or his other Supreme form. If you Special Summon, or I think this guy too is also a 2500 attack monster. Yeah, this guy as well. So I'm guessing there's gonna be a good amount of targets for this uh, archetype here. 
And um, you can shuffle one Pendulum Monster from your hand into a deck. So yeah, I already read the part. If you switch summon a face down Pendulum Monster from your extra deck this turn, you can activate this effect. Immediately after it resolves, Pendulum Summon a monster. Is this just a way of letting you actually Pendulum Summon more than once? Uh, if so, that seems pretty interesting. Uh, that can be pretty powerful. Uh, I think so. I think it looks like you're able to Pendulum Summon multiple times by using this. If so, that seems pretty great if you're able to stack your hand with more cards and being able to reuse it like that it's pretty uh pretty solid you can target one supreme king Zarki control it can attack all monsters once each this turn so that's pretty uh, decent with this 4000 attack monster being able to attack all of your opponent's monsters as long as they have a good amount of them means that you're probably gonna win the game you can only activate one card with this card's name once per turn so this is uh the light winged dragon and uh, during the main phase, you can add one Supreme King Dragon or Supreme King Gate Monster Pendulum Monster for your deck through your hand. Or if you control Zark, you can special summon it instead. So this is great. It's just a quick play spell that lets you search out anything, any monster from the deck, basically, for this archetype. Uh, or special summon it out if you have Zark out. So it gets even better with that. Seems like a solid addition that helps with the consistency of the deck. And then here we have Miracle of the Supreme King. It's a normal trap card. If you control Supreme King Zark, activate one of these effects. Destroy one Supreme King Zark you control, and if you do special, special summon one Odd Eyes Pendulum Monster or one Light uh, Supreme King Zark from your deck or extra deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. So it's just a way of replacing itself. Uh, place one face of Pendulum Monster from your extra deck to your Pendulum Zone, so that could be decent as well. Uh, set one Quick Play spell directly from your deck. So that seems pretty interesting, it's just in general being able to set any Quick Play spell, so that could be fun to see what. Uh, targets you can get with that obviously one here would be this one the lightwing dragon but um interested to see what else you can get out with using that and then here for the final card we have soul of the supreme celestial king it's a normal trap card you can only activate one card with this card's name once per turn you can tribute one spellcaster pendulum monster with 2500 original attack so like the first one we saw uh fusion summon one supreme king's arc from your extra deck by banishing fusion materials listed on it from your hand deck extra deck field and or grave but its effects are negated unless at least one, at least one of each of your pendulum dragon exceeds synchro and fusion monsters are currently banished but yeah being able to uh, banish them from the grave at least is nice because you can just use up the monsters if you, maybe fusion summon one on the field and then use this card in order to um basically fusion summon a, another one out that could be pretty decent but let me know what you guys think about the zark support what do you guys think about the archetype and all that and make sure to like comment subscribe and and all that and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching